Mills? Oh, hey! <laughs> hey, you think you can help me with a project? Definitely, man. I have my eye on a Scott's licensed push mower with a six horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine, which hasn't worked in 13 years. Mercifully, he raised the mower onto a sawhorse table. Wow, you have it all set up here? Yeah. <laughs> Figured I'm not going to be bending over today. <laughs> 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 in some of our previous videos, inactive mowers have contained old fuel, but luckily, the machine's gasoline was drained prior to being decommissioned. Let's start by using a flathead screwdriver to remove the air intake. We'll be replacing the beat up filter with a new 491588S. Next, let's remove the three 8mm retaining bolts. A Phillips screw holds down the upper plastic shielding. Before removing the intake manifold, disconnect the choke line, which articulates with the smaller of these two holes. Air intake fuel line into the carburetor. Slide off the hose clamps to remove the fuel line. Now we've got two more 10 millimeter bolts. Before unhooking the governor arm. Let's use a 13 millimeter socket to remove the bowl's nut and have a look inside. It's kind of difficult to see if the jets are clear. I just look horrible. What does the inside look like? Kind of reminds me of like a shoe store. Oh yeah, like polish? Yeah, kind of polish. Using a punch tool, let's remove the pin to examine the needle. There's the float. Huh. Looks better than our generator repair. <laughs> Look like Popeye. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't taste that great either. Inlets are clear. And that's the valve in here. That's all gummed up. Let's spray it down with a little carb cleaner. I mean, that carb cleaner works so well, it can't not cause cancer. <laughs> Take it and you slide it in there. While returning the clean carburetor, we notice something. We're missing a linkage. But we can just pull and adjust that yeah. when we uh, do our testing. Using a 13th, 16th socket, let's remove the old spark plug and check our ignition system. Ah, nice blue spark. Good. Drain the old oil using a 3 8 inch square drive. Thank you. Is it, oh, there she drained. And replenish with approximately 20 ounces of fresh 5W30 synthetic motor oil. So it looks like it's full according Let's to that. Let's put a little seafoam mixed fuel Serious. in with the mower for testing. Yep. Oh, look, it's pouring out of the... Immediately, we noticed a leak. What? Hard to miss, right? Do you need to prime it or no? <laughs> Hold on. We took it outside and it fires up once. But then appears to be flooded and no longer starts. 
Besides purchasing a couple replacement parts, he also fabricated a new linkage out of steel. Now this linkage is also responsible for some low-end auto regulation and this flooded the engine on our first attempt. When the carburetor asks for fuel, it sucks fuel through these small holes and shoots it out of this top hole right here. And that feeds into the carburetor. These jets were obstructed so we replaced the bowls nut along with the carburetor's brittle gaskets. And so when the thing was just spilling out fuel, it was because it's always on prime. Yeah, we were on prime and so we didn't have this linkage and so this was stuck all the way on one one wide way. Wide open. Wide open. And it was just pouring out fuel. Yeah, okay. let's get a wire that measured that distance apart based on the pictures I found on the for the unit. Amazing. And you can, if you want to see how the linkage works, yeah. you have a stop here on the top for that. And so when the throttle is all the way one way, it goes to there. It's all the way the other way, it comes back. It's been up here, but it's been nice not to not have to bend over. Nothing's worse than working on your hands and knees all day long. With the new components in place, let's top it off with the fresh air filter. Be great if this worked. So we get, make sure we got some fuel in there. Right, and then. Do I need to do anything? Pull to start. Nope. <laughs> Reassured that we have a running engine. It's turning. Let's unboot the spark plug and sharpen the blade. Now this one isn't keyed, so we'll mark the top before angle grinding and balancing on a screw. Yes! Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you again soon. Congratulations, that's Thanks, great. Man. That's awesome. <laughs> what should we go? Park it for another 13 years? Okay. Oh wait, which one's the new one? This one. Oh. <laughs> Are you okay? Huh? <laughs> Drinking it. <laughs> did, you, did it go in the hat? Look how gross that is, too. Objects that are in motion tend to cut your head off. <laughs> <laughs> it's turning. <laughs>